If it swims, he seeks it. If it exists, he will find it. And if it's possible, he will catch it. Simply Fishing and Hall of Fame legendary angler Bob Mesacomer, along with his two sons, Mike Mesacomer and Jason Mesacomer, are on a quest to expand your fishing horizons on every episode. Brought to you by Klein Nissan, your Nissan dealer with a global perspective. Ardent Reels, rule the water. Digs, experience the turn worldwide. Pose, makers of the original Giant Jackpot and the new Havana Jack. SimplyFishingMagazine.com, your free interactive online fishing magazine. And by A-Team Tackle, revolutionary spinnerbaits and bucktails. Fish on. Stay with her, stay with her. We're gonna get out past the point, so don't rush the fish. We're in really, really shallow water. Really, really windy. Another pike, I think. Another pike. Another big pike. You want it netted or are you gonna grab it? Yeah, let's net this one. Okay. I got a picture from my mother. Okay. Nice little pike. Yeah, these are 40 inch pike. Their wind is blowing so hard. I think I had another one that hit right there. Whoops, trying to crawl out. Let me get down here. Got your rod? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, stay there. I'll, I'll bring the net right back to the seat there and you can take the fish out of it. I'll take a picture with my camera. Okay. Get it, get it? Yeah, we're good. Watch the rods and stuff. Now. Hey, folks. Welcome to another edition of Simply Fishing. Today we'll be hunting giant muskies out of Witch Bay Camp on Lake of the Woods. My guest, Dick, just caught one. Well, not quite what we're looking for, but it's always an added bonus. Stay tuned to see if Dick and I can figure out these monsters at Witch Bay Camp on Lake of the Woods. Oh, look at that. Oh, big fish. Big fish! Is that over here? That is a 50 fish. That's Folks, close. you're seeing it right now. My 100th just came in the net at Witch Bay Camp. Holy smokes, Rocky. He ate that thing. We got rock and stuff in here, Dick. This is also a little bit of vegetation in this pocket. We might get grassed up. Okay. Where we're going to focus is out there. All right. These fish really. These fish really haven't been as much as you would think they would be in these weeds. They're not. That shallow water just got absolutely plummeted with cold. And these fish really got out of there. Plus, I gotta be perfectly honest with you, a big double-bladed Avenger in there. Not the perfect bait. It's gonna be a little bait. tough. Yeah, it's not the perfect bait. So let's keep the perfect bait in the perfect place, huh? Alrighty. So we'll work around this and back out onto the point itself. You can pull another lure like a jackpot or something, but I wouldn't even do it. Um, hey, 
I thought I saw this bait catch two fish today. Yeah. I think it, that's the bait we use. Yeah. Until it stops catching fish <laughs> for the day. This rock's going to come out probably around 50, maybe 60 yards till it drops into about 16, 18 foot of water. And I'll keep us tight enough that we can throw right up into the, oh, there's a, there we go. Oh, I saw him. <laughs> it was there. You might have been retired. <laughs> that was a big fish, Bob. Yeah. That one I saw. <laughs> So we'll just keep working our way around. Like I said, we'll get out so we're not on top of the bar itself, but what's happening is these rocks. Water's warming up. Yeah, these rocks are radiating a little bit, you know, and they're they're helping assist that warming water. And these fish know that instinctively. They'll crawl up on there. Where is that crazy seagull? There we go. There he is. Stay with her. Got a musk? Yeah, he's coming. Good to deal. That one's in the net. <laughs> I took her green, but she's there. <laughs> I took her green, but she's there. Oh. Let me move some rods, huh? Oh yeah, she's fine. She was right off that center between the two yeah. rods. You need your help with the rods? No, we're okay. Okay. Yeah, she was right at the. Uh... Man, she's not mad. Not happy. I mean. She's off already. Yep. Handling her is not going to be a. Not going to be a treat. Um. You want to try to lift her out of the bag? Sure. Let me get the rods out of the way. Okay. Got a lot of feistiness in her, doesn't she? Yes, got her? she does. Good yep. job. I'll take the bag out of the way, so. All right, we're good? Yep, we're good to go. Nice job. Thank you, sir. <laughs> good net job. <laughs> I took that one really green, trust me. <laughs> Let's get you a bigger one, eh? Sounds good. Good enough. Get a quick snapshot? Uh, yeah, hang on a minute. Very good. Thank you. Set her back there, big guy. Good job. There you go. Was that about a 30? Oh, it's more than that. You want to pull the tape on it? No, that's it. She's okay. ready to go. That, that fish is higher 30s. Good job. Here's your, uh, here's your rod. Let me get this. Right off that little rock pile, though. Mm -hmm. Off the point. Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. 
Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taken in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. How come no fish is behind it? Huh? How come? Put some licorice on it. Licorice. That'll do it. What a pretty morning though. Fish or no fish, every cast is met with anticipation. Got him? Big, no, I missed it. <laughs> Very that was a nice big. one too. Very big fish. That was a 5-0 fish. He wanted to eat. She Missed wanted it. to eat. Missed it totally. She hit behind it? Come on. What happened was she come from down below. Uh -huh. Deep. She comes straight up on it. That's what happened. She's big. <laughs> That's the one we're looking for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fish this through down to the back side. I'm going to turn the boat and bring it into the wind. Then we're not blowing up on her. Actually, I could turn the boat right here and we could stay here. That might even be a better deal. Problem is, I'm dragging her off the reef doing that. I'm not keeping her up on the saddle. Mm -hmm. Here she goes. She's gonna eat. Oh. Come on, baby. It's a big, big fish. That could be my 100th over 50. Mm-hmm. Likes that point right there. Go ahead, throw in there. Seems to like that jackpot. Don't land on her. Don't land on her, land beyond her. Here she comes. Here she is, she's under me. Look at her. See her? Yep. Okay, she's swimming down right there, folks. She's going down. I'm gonna let her slide back to the reef. And I'm gonna get this fish to eat. This fish is way over 50.
Here she is. Shouldn't do that to this fish. Should not figure eight that fish. Uh, she's under the boat right now. Bad scene. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual vortex blades, and the all new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the 18. Simply call 1 800 222 8775. We're going to work our way up to this hard structure here, and when we do, I'm going to get lures really close to it and see if I anything that's maybe sucked up on those rocks. You with that Avenger, be a little careful, because on a calm day like today, we don't want to go up on the structure because it will mess it up. You can kind of get away with it in the wind, but in these calm days like this, forget it, Bubba. It will be over. Looking for number 100. Can you imagine that? It's taken me 30 years, more than 30 years, to catch 99 muskies over 50 inches. Only need one more to break that mark. It's pretty bait in the water, ain't it? She pluffs out. Pretty bait in the water. Undulates. Undulates. Like that word. Undulating. Undulates. Here's one. Here's one. Come on, come on, eat it. Eat it. I got her. One hook, one hook. Let me bring her head up. Okay, I gotta come toward the net. Got her head up, got her head up, coming in, in the bag. Yes! <gasps> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, down on the water, down on the water, down on the water, down on the water. Oh, that could very well be my 100th over 50. Folks, we just had a monster fish, a bigger one than this, try to take the bait twice. While we were working this, I watched this fish tail out here and I'm going, oh, we got two of them. We still have another one underneath the boat. I don't know if it's 5-0, but it's definitely high 40s. Yes. <laughs> yes, and I had to force feed that thing on that giant jackpot. Oh, man, I'm going to turn us here a little bit so we don't screw up the reef. That The other fish is bigger. That's under us. Yes, yes, yes. What we're going to do is position ourselves, Dick. I'll get her off, and they're going to position ourselves out here so we can turn the boat. Okay. We're going to fan cast this end down here. The other fish is still on this end. She sunk down underneath my trolling motor, and I lost sight of her. Just as I looked up, I saw the tail over here going this way and going, oh, man, there's another one here. Oh. Okay. 
Okie dokie, let me cut some hooks, huh? Everybody hang tight, hang tight. Let me move some jackpots and okay. mad mics and careful, easy, careful, easy, careful. Easy, easy, careful. I don't know if that one's 50 or not, but we have a tape in our pocket. Yes, sir. She's off the lure already. Good, that's fine. I don't know if she's 50 or not, but we have a tape. Could be my 100th over 50. I don't think so. Head doesn't look like it. Slider this way. No, she's high 40s. Uh, okay, give me a second. Let me do this first. I don't know, Dick. It's it's got the width. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. Yep, she is. Oh, she got some weight to her too. Oh, hang on now. Could very well be. I'm not sure, but it could very well be. Oh man! Oof, uh, can you get a picture? Got her. Well, it's going to be it for another week, oh. folks. I'd like to thank Dick for joining me in the boat oh. this week. I'd also like to thank Stephen Gale at Witch Bay Camp for making this trip possible. Remember, practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. The future of fishing depends on it. This is Bob Mesocomer saying thanks for watching, and remember, tune in next week for more Simply Fishing. One tail. Is it? Is it? Is it? Three quarters. Forty-nine and three quarters. She ain't there, guys. I don't. I can't get fifty out of her. Here's the tail. I really don't want my hundredth over to be a margin of fifty. Forty-nine and three quarters. It is what it is. She's a quarter inch short doesn't take away from the enjoyment at all. <laughs> oh. a good looking fish. Oh man, 49 and 3 quarters. The other fish is definitely 50. Oh, oh man, oh man. Is that 100th ever going to come? Oh, 49 and 3 quarters. That's heart wrenching.